Alright guys, welcome back to Dark Souls Unpatched. So I'm gonna go directly into Lower Undeadburg, I think. I need to kill Capra Demon, so I can access the depths and grab the Large Ember. And I'd also like to finish up this video by killing Gaping Dragon. It might take me a little bit longer than I'm used to because I typically don't go to Gaping Dragon's area really at all. I usually just skip it and go to Blight Town right away with the Master Key. But I do need that Ember. And I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. I just went on autopilot there and started running. Fuck this guy, he's annoying with his long range. If you approach from this side, this guy will pipe out of the ground before you get to him. But if you approach from the other way, then you can just kill him before he sprouts. Before he undigs? What's the word? Before he emerges, that's the word I was looking for. Thanks, vocabulary. Probably best switch back to my Grass Crest shield now. Gonna need that stamina regen. Oh, and there's this guy down here as well. Fuck you! I'll never get tired of doing that attack. So what would be the fastest way to get to Lower Undeadburg? I think if I rest at the Parish Bonfire, which I can't warp to, then I can backtrack through the parish. I can go to the Sunlight Altar, rest at the bonfire there, down the ladder. Oh no, I have to unlock that first. Oh, the Sunlight Altar is still helpful because I can... Yeah, I have to go across the bridge to get there in the first place. Okay. I'm still getting used to playing this instead of the remaster. It's really... I'm not lying when I say it really is jarring going back and forth because the remaster on PC, it doesn't even feel like the same game. Oh wait. I've got some texture mods for the PC version as well. I made one myself for the title screen in Prepare to Die Edition, which changes Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition to something stupid like... MLG Souls 420 edition with a little picture of Snoop Dogg somewhere. If I can find it, I'll dig it up and edit that in. Because it is pretty funny. Pretty sure I've still got it on my hard drive. What? That hit me oh, in the shoulder. Holy shit. Is that a shoulder shot? Yeah. Oh, no, I think it got me in the lung. I'm lung shot, you cannot save me, Snake. I'm kind of impressed how far those crossbow bolts travel, considering how slow they travel. Okay, so here's the fun bit. Gotta run through all this shit. Hellkite Dragon will probably come up from the left side of the wall. Yep, you can see his wings. Goodbye, I'm out. Oh, I'm dumb. I was supposed to rest. Okay, that's actually fine. I'll just chill here for a minute. Rest at Sunlight Altar Bonfire, then come back down here. If you rest at the bonfire, then Hellcut Dragon will fly away. Totally forgot about that. I ran straight past the bonfire and didn't even think to rest at it, even though that was literally my objective. Tells you a lot, doesn't it? Come on, do it. Do it. Hop down. Thank you. So what's up? Smack. Oh god, what's that? Ooh. Don't. Don't. Good. See you later. I don't know how many souls Hellkite Dragon gives you when you kill it. I'm gonna have to find that out, because... I mean, I don't... Ow! Almost ran straight into that second one. I'm gonna have to find out, because surely it's reduced because I'm playing unpatched. Curious. Curious indeed. I think this is the longest ladder in the game. Maybe just one of the longest? Pretty sure? Don't remember? Go up here for a shortcut. This will spit you out. Right behind those fuck bags that ambush you in the house. Yeah, like, right here. This is a pretty good place to drop a summon sign. I usually put mine right in this circular bit. Super easy to identify. And you can take on Capra Demon. 
from there without fighting any enemies. Speaking of enemies, good way to kill these fucking annoying dogs. Run past into this fire. I think there's three of them, maybe just two. I don't remember. Yeah, there's three. I should be able to take him down. Come on. Oh, don't go, boy. I am a milkman. Chase me. There we go, get wrecked. That one didn't do it that time, but the dogs can read your inputs and jump away. It's really fucking annoying. Somebody. Well, I don't have the residence key, so you're just condemned to spend the rest of your life in that room. Now, this part sucks. It's a running theme with this game. I wanted to do the two-handed R2, but the jump attack on this weapon looks pretty cool too. You just smash them into paste. I'll try to get them to do that attack where I... Oh, that was close. Where they rush you down. Wasn't able to show it off in the last video, they just weren't playing ball. There we go, that one in the back. He just did that attack. If that hits you, you're just toast. <laughs> Joke. Speaking of toast, rip frame rate, holy shit. Nothing on the left side, on the right side there's a twin humanities. I... Whoa, hi. Um... I took a look at the patch notes again, found a couple more things out, one of them being it's not actually my controller making locking on so difficult, it's actually the game. Lock on responsiveness was increased and switching lock on responsiveness, so, sorry. Lock on range was increased and lock on switching responsiveness was increased in one of the patches. I don't remember which one. There's a guy behind here and a guy behind here. And one more further down, but he'll kick open the door before you get to him. They're invincible during this animation. And these motherfuckers are incredibly annoying. Well, when you fuck it up like that. Do not let them get behind you. If they do get behind your character, they will initiate a backstab, where they basically just jump on the back of your head and cut your throat. It doesn't do as much damage as you might think, and there's their parry stance. But all in all, yeah, they're really fucking annoying. There we go. I should check these rooms as well. One of them has some items in a corner on a corpse. Ah, this one. Mailbreaker. I've never used that weapon before in my life. Big meat brain need big smashy weapons. I'm also checking my corners because... Unpatched Dark Souls has a couple of different enemy locations. Not, I don't think there's any new enemy locations, they're just different. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for them. And here's the obligatory dog. Hello. Get wrecked. Corpse in this barrel, roll into it. Do not attack it. There's actually no reason to roll into this barrel rather than attack it because, well, it's just a corpse. But actually, later on, there is a guy trapped inside a barrel. Dogs! There's a guy trapped inside a barrel, and if you attack him instead of rolling into him, he will aggro and you won't be able to have him as a merchant. General rule of thumb is so you can get into the habit, always roll into barrels if you want to break them. Without harming the inhabitant. There's a shortcut down here. I'll ignore that boss fog for now. That was supposed... Oh, that could have been a backstab. Oh, hopefully this doesn't kill both of... Oh, well, that sucks. These guys are a bit of a pain in the balls to fight. Will you get off me? They can drop a couple good items. I think they can drop the bandit knife, which the... What's his name? The Thief starts with, I think? It's a dagger that does bleed damage, which is pretty sweet. If you pick one up, it's probably not a bad weapon to use against Asylum Demon and his three cousins. Hello. Now, sell me some shit. This is a really good NPC. She sells all of the types of moss. Dung pies, alluring skulls, charcoal pine resin. Oh, I'm actually going to buy a couple of those. I forgot she had them. 
You don't need to buy transient curses because by the time you go to the place where you need them, you should have the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Well, you will want to have the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring because the enemies that you kill drop more. And you can get two of them for free at the beginning of the area. So there's shouldn't be... There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a need to buy any of these. I've never used Rotten Pine Resin before, but I'm assuming there are some bosses that are vulnerable to poison. So if so, I'll have to look that up and find out. Homeward Bones for 800 each. This might be the cheapest place you can get them. I don't know that for sure. I know that Oswald also sells them. But that might also be a patch thing. So fuck my life, I guess. I'll buy two more of those. This NPC sells poison arrows as well. I can only afford two, which isn't actually enough to even poison anything. But easily one of the best NPCs in Dark Souls. Very, very good equipment. Equipment? Stock. Open this shortcut, that'll let you get back to Filing Shrine. And I'm gonna have a stretch while I run down this aqueduct. I just felt my wrist crack. It feels good, man. Alright, I think... Ah, yep, there's one item there. Yoink. No new items since... Oh, well, Charcoal Pine Resin, of course. Havel's good. Yep. I think I'm set to take on Capra Demon. This boss gave me absolute fucking fits on my first run. What you want to do is when you enter the fog, if you have a shield, or even if you're just two-handing a weapon, hold it up so you're blocking, and let the dog take the first attack. It will bounce off your shield, and then you're free to roll through Capra Demon's attack. 19 times out of 20? That's how it goes down. Naturally, when I'm recording, it doesn't do it, and the dog is too slow. That's okay. Now the dog bites my ankle, and now I fall off, because I'm so good at video games. Nice, I got both dogs down. Alright. Now it's pretty much a cakewalk. Pardon me, sir, I need to get this way. I'm going to use Charcoal Pine Resin, because fuck this fight. And plus the Burning's Vihander. Ah, uh, that hurt. Plus the Burning's Vihander looks really cool. Don't smash me. Capradimon himself isn't that hard. The problem is the dogs and the tiny boss arena. I wonder. I did just stagger him, so does that work every time? Yep, it does. Wow. If I remember right, fire-based attacks have a higher chance of stunning. So, that stuns him every time it hits. Okay, you can't be parried. That's fine. I'll just destroy you. Cool, there we go. That's Capra Demon. Hated the shit out of this fight my first time. It... Ooh, it was fucking annoying. Let's put it that way. It's possible to cheese that boss by standing outside the area and throwing dung pies over uh, the wall at it. But I've tried to do that before and I've never been able to pull it off. I don't really care that much to pull it off. If you're going through the game cheesing bosses like that, it pretty much just cheats you out of the experience, so I don't like to do it. So welcome to the depths. I can't seem to say depths properly. Depths. The depths. Something like that. Ow! It, it's deep. It's what I'm trying to say. It's why it's called the depths. If it's my first cycle, and by that I mean new character and I'm getting all the items and everything for the first time, I'll always enter here. Oh, I can get rid of that now. Reason being, there's obviously there's a large ember, but there's my favorite helmet in the game, the sack. You can get it from the butcher, which you can kind of see on the top right there. Believe it or not, that is female. The butcher is actually female. There's a boss that will fight later called Gwendolyn, who's also male, despite not looking like one in the slightest. So. Hashtag Dark Souls trans rights. No, God, please don't even stop that. This place is also full of these annoying motherfuckers who use torches and just suck, so I'm fucking... I'm backstabbing these guys. It's worth it. I should put charcoal pine resin on for extra... Oh, no. Ooh, that's... 
You don't want that to happen, because if you get knocked down the stairs, then they can continue attacking you. You don't have iframes during the standing back up animation if you get knocked down while you're falling. I was saying something a second ago before I got distracted by the torch holo. I can't remember what it was. Whee! Oh, bye guy. Hey, there's some fresh meat for you. Are you like Antoine from... Wait, no, not Antoine. Larry from Dead Rising 1 is... Hollow meat not good enough for you? That's cool. Also, I didn't realize you could piss the butcher off from here, so... I guess I'd better clear all this crap out. Fuck you. I was hoping that would hit. Where'd the butcher go? Oh, there you are. Just like Capra, there are two dogs here. I have the wolf ring, so this shouldn't be too bad. If they do manage to nibble at me, then I should be able to... Yep, there's the... Oh, no, 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 yes, no. Okay, good. Dogs are dead. So this is the butcher. You might have noticed. This is the first one of the area. There's a second one a little bit further ahead. If this one does not drop the sack, the second one will. And if you're really lucky, um, rip you, I guess. Cool. I straight up did not press roll. At all. But yeah, if this one doesn't drop the sack, the second one will. And if you're extremely lucky, then both of them will drop a sack. I love the sack so much. It's by far my favorite helmet in this game. I don't like it because of its... Oh, Rusted Iron Ring is probably going to be good here. There we go. Nice jump, idiot. You jumped into my sword. The sack is especially funny because it upgrades with Titanite just like all the other armors. Well, most of the other armors. There's Twinkling Titanite as well. Um, what? But yeah, the sack is extra funny to upgrade because every time you upgrade it, I... Well, I'll show you once I get it. But every time you upgrade it, it gets an extra point in defense against everything. And it's just a single point. Which is hilarious. Oh, shit. <laughs> Had that coming. That is a grab. Stay away from that. I don't think you can parry that. Oh. Come on. Do your one-handed attack. Not that. Wrong hand. There we go. Two-handed riposte. 78 damage, and 409. Beautiful. I demand you drop your sack. Ah, oh, I'll eventually parry that. Whoa, no. I hit parry. I hit parry. I wanted to parry. Oh, crap. No. Ooh. I was so ready to parry. Stop doing that. Do your normal thingy. Not that. Come on. This is the universal sign that I wish to fight you. Oh, yeah. There you do it. No, I'm not ready. There we go. Yourself. Drop sack. No sack. I got sack robbed. God damn it. Mm. Well, um, that sucks. I like the sack. Wait, that sacks? <laughs> I will accept the dislikes. So, roll into these barrels. This is Laurentius of the Great Swamp. He's awesome. He's the Pyromancy trainer. And he'll go to Firelink Shrine. At which point you can have a chat to him and he'll be like, Bruh, I've got some fire magic for you. And you're like, fuck yeah, fire magic, sign me up. I really should find a bonfire. I think I can press on for a little bit. I know where the next bonfire is. Yeah, I've got the master key, so I don't need... What's it called? I never picked the key up, so I don't know its name at all. There's a slime on the ceiling here. Watch out for it. So, cheers. Bye. I somehow managed to not get hit by any of that Psycho Bonkers crazy... Swipe attack. Cool. So fuck this hallway. There's slimes all over the fucking ceiling. 
It's possible to run through them like that if you're crazy like me. Not that difficult to dodge, actually. I'm gonna light this bonfire, throw in a level. How am I doing on time? Oh yeah, doing pretty good. Oh, I can't put any levels in? I'm level 27, so fair enough. Levels are getting expensive already. I'm not going to use the Moonlight Butterfly Soul. I think you can make the Moonlight Butterfly Horn, which is a spear, and I don't really care for spears, and the Crystal Ring Shield, which is admittedly a cool shield, but I don't really care that much for it. I don't fancy my chances of playing this character after this playthrough anyway, so anything that I pop here is because I'm not going to use it. I just popped a boss soul, come at me. 4,900 souls. Alright, I'll have to remember that. And you've respawned, so get wrecked. Shamefully, I have died to that enemy. He did his crazy psycho swiping attack as I exited the room and I just died. Not my finest moment. A bunch of rats here. Rats are pretty decent for farming humanity. They probably won't drop any when I'm looking for it. Of course. Great axe in the corner there. Oh, I need to reverse hollowing. Oh, I can do that later. This one falls off the ledge, which is hilarious because you can just do that and destroy it. You can get wrecked. And you can get wrecked. Sewer chamber key. Yeah, I would have never remembered that. If you have the master key, you just don't need that key at all. That key unlocks the bonfire that I just rested at. Um, I don't remember what path I normally take here. I'll go this way first. Oh, yep, yeah, this is the one I want. Okay. There's a few rats here and a channeler. Trick here is to let the rats come up to you. If the nearby channeler buffs the rats, just escape, get away until the buff wears off because fighting buffed rats is a nightmare. Well, 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 don't, don't. See how quickly things can go pear shaped in this game. All right, he's buffing, so I'll kill this. Um, I'll try to kill this one. Oh, you son of a fuck. Okay, that's good. I don't know what the third one's doing. I think I'll wait for a moment till that buff wears off. Unless I can toss a firebomb? Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was supposed to kill you, damn it. There's a bit of a visual difference you can use to distinguish if he's using Soul Arrow, or what I'm assuming is, like, Great Heavy Soul Arrow. If it's bright, and takes a lot longer to cast, then it's a stronger attack. And he just used regular Soul Arrow. Ah, yeah, there's the attack. Okay, it's his two-handed Artur. Uh, please stop that immediately. Good. No trident. No trident. Maybe if I just go through his pockets a little bit harder, he'll drop one. <laughs> yeah, no dice. I'll eventually get a trident ridiculously early, and I'll be crowned King of Dark Souls. It will happen. I think this is a large titanite shard, and I am a great magician. It's two of them. Damn it. Okay, I'm an average magician. Fuck you. That rat has been responsible for killing me when I tried to go through the area to avoid the other, um... 
Yeah, that's a pit there. You don't want to walk into that. When I was trying to avoid the rats in the channeler. Not my finest moment. You can have a black firebomb. Does this one have a pit? Yes, it does. Okay. And is there a pit in this corridor? No. Okay. That was not the right attack. That was. Now, I don't think I'm missing anything. You definitely want to kill that channeler because that channeler can buff the boss. And you really don't want the boss to be buffed. Poison, you little bastard. It's okay. Got a couple of these. So now that I've killed the channeler, there's that giant rat. Oh, don't trip over that thing. So what should I do now? There's the other pathway. Hang on. My brain has performed a factory reset, and I can't remember. Uh, um, the. There's a path that you can take... Oh, right, it's back up this way. What you do is drop through a shaft behind where the butcher was, and it takes you to an alternate path that I really should take now. Okay. One humanity? Uh, I'll use it. I normally have a lot more humanities, but the game normally drops more humanities. Thanks, unpatched game. Kindle that, we get 10 sweet, sweet, sunny delight. Yum yum. I don't think I need the rusted iron ring anymore. Yeah, it was just for that area when I got in here. Alright. Let's not get killed by this guy. Good. I'm going to be quiet for a little bit here while the flashbacks from getting killed by that attack that he just used flood back to me. It's not too far, just head back up this way. I think I have to go through- oh yeah, I should have left the rest of that ring on. So I can get through here. Put Wolfring back on, jump through here. You'll land in this little area. Presumably just a waste dump from the Butcher. Spider Shield's on here, I started with it so it's useless to me, but it's really, really good for Blight Town if you're not a bandit. Critical plunging attack on this guy will pretty much annihilate him. There's something in the corner, I think it's a consumable soul? Yes. And the rat will also drop a humanity. I'm glad it still did because I would have been extra salty. So can someone answer me, what the fuck are these pods all around this area? Like, what is this thing? It's just constantly leaking and it, ew, just destroy it. It explodes into what looks like coagulated blood when you destroy it. It's weird as shit. Alright, so what I'm going to do here... I'm going to hug the left wall, which will let me open up a shortcut early. If you are new to the game, don't do this. Instead, go to the center. And fall through. Because if you do it this way, you'll deprive yourself of a little bit of exploring and some items. Namely, I think there's the Ring of the Evil Eye down there somewhere. But I will be going back down there, I'm just doing this to open the shortcut early. Which unfortunately does mean that I have to go through this whole area again. It's going to take an extra minute, maybe. But it won't take me very long. I'll just dash through all these guys. Got to put the Rusted Iron Ring back on again. If you haven't realized what the Rusted Iron Ring does, it stops you from moving at slower speeds during... During? While you're in inhibiting terrain like deep water or mud or tar or something. If I was playing normally and going for Quelag's Fury Sword, I would be leveling Dexterity a little bit. And once I get into Sen's Fortress, 
I put the Rusted Iron Ring on, jump down to the bottom of the area and kill all the Prowling Demons for all of their Demon Titanite. And the Rusted Iron Ring lets you walk normally through the tar, and normally you walk like a snail, like you have over 100%... What's it called? Equip load. While you're walking through it, it's a nightmare. So, here we go with the normal path. We Destroy this thing because it's weird. Pro tip, if you intend on playing solo... Excuse me. If you intend on playing solo without any invaders, keep a Homeward Bone. Because once it greys out like it has there, then you know you've got an invader. Kirk shouldn't be too bad. But the invasion alarm that the Homeward Bone provides is one of the primary reasons that I have a Homeward Bone. Because obviously being able to very easily and quickly get back to the last bonfire is really helpful. But it also has a secondary purpose in finding, well, in sniffing out invaders before they even show up, which is really, really handy. Since I'm playing offline, it's not really as useful to me because human players, like other players, aren't going to invade me. But if you're new to the game, it's not so bad. Can be useful for pointing out, Jesus, how many swings do you get, man? It's still good for pointing out NPC invaders, especially if you're a newcomer. That was a clutch parry, I just pressed the button during the animation. I should have two-handed as well, but oh well. Kirk will appear in three places. Did I? Yeah, I just got both of his drops. Excellent. There's a chance that he can drop the Barb Straight Sword and the Spike Shield. And those drops roll differently for... Wait, so, sorry. Individually, not differently. Every time you kill him. So you might get both. You might only get one. You might get neither. Admittedly, yeah, I haven't been through here very much, so the layout is kind of bizarre to me. Wait. Also, fuck this enemy. They can cause curse. Alright, I s Oh, you might have fallen down. Okay, I thought so. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah, don't walk into that for too long. Oh, hiya, fellas. This looks like a clusterfuck. You wanna come up here and say hi, where I can breathe? Cool. Good talk. I can hear- oh, there you are. So now if I go down this way, there's you, and you, what the f- did you just land on me and deal like 8 damage? Okay, a little bit more than 8, but still. I hate enemies that do that, they piss me off so much. Ring of the Evil Eye is here. Ring of the Evil Eye is something that I never really use. I use it for a little bit here because of the chip damage that I took so I can show it off at least. But I never use it. It gives you, I think, 30 health every time you kill an enemy. Which is really small, so... Generally not really worth using. I think I go up that way to get out, so... This is where I entered from. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and this is where Kirk invaded me. I'll go back through this area. I genuinely don't remember what's up those stairs at all that I just ignored. I was going to go back to those a little bit later, but this way I don't remember what's up here. Let's have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought it was a continuation of the area or somewhere to get back up top, but just a humanity behind a pit. Also, shout out to Miyazaki for putting that pit right after a blind corner. What a guy. Do -do 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 -do. 
I'm not having fun with the Havoc physics. Where the hell? Oh, it's here. I was like, how many corners do you want me to take, man? Let me out of this cyclical hell. So, note to self, that entire area on the left there is optional. No, I was expecting a rat to jump out of the crate. Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure that was a mother and father and I just killed their only child. Rest in pizza. This is where you end up. I ended up here just after I took that that slide. Then go up here, hit the shortcut. I've already done it, so balls to it. Fuck you. Slime on the ceiling, but I just ran too fast. It couldn't catch me. There's an NPC here whose name I can never, ever remember, but he's really, really good. Don Nol of Xena. Yeah, I would have never remembered that. If you're playing patched, he sells the master key. I'm going to grab... Uh, yeah, I'll grab the bottomless box. I usually like to put uh, the Ring of Favor and Protection into the bottomless box so I don't accidentally equip it. He sells crystal shit here. Crystal shit can't be repaired, so I usually don't grab it. And he also sells armor sets from bosses that you've killed, but I haven't killed any that he happens to sell yet, so I can't really take advantage of his services. He does sell three gold pine resin, which is great because gold pine resin, really powerful, as you've seen. I thought there was a bit more... Okay, no. That's the door to Blight Town. Fuck that door. That's really all I have to say about it, just fuck that door. It's going to be a strange feeling exploring Blight Town normally, because I typically go the opposite way. Oh, I thought the crossbow was here, but it's a floor down. I usually take the other path through Valley of Drakes. It's not going to be a complete mystery to me, but it's going to be strange. Oh, it's a heavy crossbow. Okay. I thought it was a longbow of some sort. Okay, so this is the gaping dragon fight, so I'm going to need... Nothing. Soler's summon sign is here. I'm not going to summon him. We don't need no stinking sunlight medals. I don't really have anything that can help me in this fight either. The wolf ring? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. So gaping dragon's weakness is hit its head. Big surprise, right? It takes a lot of extra damage. You can also cut Gaping Dragon's tail off for the Dragon King Great Axe. I should be able to do it here because Gaping Dragon takes forever to do attacks. There we go. Same deal as Gargoyles, I assume, where I have to pick it up? Yep, thought so. Don't land on me, bro. Woo. So once it slams its front part down... Gaping Dragon will usually walk forwards like that. It's basically a stampede if it hits you. Because that is an attack. It will do a lot of damage. It has killed me and actually stunlocked me in the past. And sometimes it can just stand back up. Overall, this boss is pretty easy. But just like Stray Demon, its biggest problem is the ridiculously high damage that some of its attacks deal. And this boss is also notoriously guilty of having some pretty bad shitboxes. And in case you're not familiar with that term, I don't think it's a community-made phrase, I just started saying it one time because it fits with bad hitboxes, shitboxes. I'm talking about bad hitboxes in these kinds of games. <laughs> Didn't even break my poise. I could use a gold pine resin or something, but the fight's almost over already. You want Gaping Dragon to- what well, not to do that, holy shit, get away if it does that. If 
if you stand in that stuff, it slowly damages you and degrades your equipment. Just managed to get away from that in time. Stay well clear when it does that because, yeah, very bad shitboxes and high damage. Also, rip gaping dragon. I don't know what that dragon was doing with a key, but there you go. Hard leather set there. 25,000 souls. Delicious. I don't think I have any reason to stick around, so I might bone out. I'm definitely going to throw these souls into my levels and then call it for this part because three bosses in one video- wait no. Two bosses in one video. Two bosses plus an NPC invader. Pretty damn good. Strength, strength, and more strength. 34 strength, exactly, great. So when I go into Ash Lake, I can grab and use a Dragon Greatsword immediately. And for the hell of it, where is Dragon King Great Axe? This thing is, uh, this thing is insane. I've never really used it. I don't really care for this weapon. I care more for the uh, Demon King Great Axe. But it's, um, it's absurd. I can't show off the one-headed moveset because the one-headed, well, actually, how do I explain this? If you don't have the requirements for a weapon, it changes your animation, so it looks really sluggish and different, like your character is really struggling with the weapon, which does make sense, but... It's not the same animation, so I can't show you what the attacks look like if I don't have the requirements for the weapon, which sucks. So that's the best I can do. That's the R1. This is the R2. Yeah. It drains 50 durability, and uh, I can't tell you how strong it is because I've never really used it, but that's the tail weapon from Gaping Dragon. I think that's everything I wanted to do. Alright, so I have to get out of here, don't I? Yeah, I've got a bit of time. I might as well see if I can get out of the depths and head into Blight Town. Fuck you. Don't slime me, don't slime me, don't slime me, don't slime me, don't slime me. Alright, we're good. Where's that torch holder? Oh, there he is. Shouldn't take very long. Wait a minute, where am I going? I'm dumb. Um, I actually need to go... Uh, brain isn't working this way. <laughs> I'll take that path through the butcher's trap door to get to the Blighttown door. Pardon me, sirs. I require use of your pool. Coming through. That giant rat doesn't respawn, thankfully. Well, kind of unfortunate because farming humanity would be nice, but oh well. Hug the left side. It probably would have been fast if I just ran back up from the boss fight room, but that's fine. I'll just buy another homeward bone later. Thanks, me. So this is Blight Town. As you can see by the abrupt color change, it's a totally different area. You'll probably die to gravity in this area. It just, it's awful, it fucking sucks. And Blight Town's reputation for tanking frame rates on console versions, even on the Prepare to Die edition, is very well deserved. Can confirm. I think the remaster is the first time in Dark Souls 1 that Blight Town has ever ran at a consistent 30 plus frames per second. Think about that for a minute. No items. He can drop dung pies and the large club. Large club is really good because it's a great hammer. I was about to say great sword. That does poison damage. Very few weapons. Oh, wow. Oh. He wants to smash. He's not going to get to smash. Their attacks are really slow, so you can usually parry them or just get out of the way. You can usually chain backstab them, too.
Do you mind? I'm trying to engage in Mortal Kombat with uh, this thing. Poise saving me again. Dodge a grab attack with iframes. Get, well, miss a backstab, but still kill you anyway. That's fine. Soul? Soul. These guys drop souls, like large soul of lost undead, soul of lost undead. I don't know why. It's... I guess it does make sense because they'd probably be Blight Town's inhabitants. Also, fuck Toxic in this fucking shit game. Well, I need to get to a bonfire quickly. YOLO jump. I missed the YOLO jump. Well, cured my Toxic at least. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back to that later. That's um, that's your teaser of Blight Town and the absolute nightmare that is to come. So I'm definitely going to call it here because it's been one full part worth of footage and I got quite a lot done in that time. So thank you guys very much for watching and goodbye. Give me a hug.